It's the summer of 2016, and that means it's time for the Rio Olympics. And that means our region's business is preempted for almost the entire month of August. But because our region's business never ends, we're going to be here on the web once a week with an update on information that you need to know about. Today on our region's business, we are on the road, literally. We're here at Pit Race in Wampum, Beaver County during the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix. And we're here to examine a growing need in the automotive industry for technical talent to keep cars in tip-top shape. The Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix has been helping to get out the word about opportunity in the industry. Dan Taylor is chair of the Grand Prix this year. He's a Ford dealer in Grove City. He's also the incoming chair of the Ford Dealer Council. So great to, great to yeah. have you. Well, thank you, Bill. Yeah. We're glad to be here. Absolutely, and thanks for having us out to, I guess, the day we're taping this. It's day one of yes, all the week-long Vintage Grand Prix activities. So we're hoping people bring their families out, teach their kids a little bit about uh, what's happening in the car industry, how far cars have come in all these years. So we're excited to uh, have you here. And you, you talk about the transformation in the industry. You look out on the track here right now. There goes a, a race car by. Uh, the, 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 the technology has come a long way from those days. Yeah, it certainly has, which brings us to why we're here, of course. Yeah. And so one of the things that we really want to talk about today, Bill, is there's a, such a dire need out there for technicians in this industry, whether it's in the uh, dealership or whether it's for the manufacturers or remanufacturers and all the supporting companies. We're in dire need of help right now. Yeah, I mean, back when we were kids, people could sort of take a car apart by their hands and put it back together. That's really no longer the case. No, so we still need, you know, today we have all the kids messing around on their personal devices and stuff. Those are also the young people that we need. We've come so technically advanced in these automobiles today from self-parking cars to cars that the cruise control is, is uh, operated automatically. We need those technical, smart, young people to come into our industry to fix these cars. Well, and I can see why that's the case. You look at all the computers involved in a dealership and a car is a computer nowadays, but it is, a, is it a leap to get kids to sort of think that way, those technically oriented kids to see this is an industry for them? You know what, that, that's, really our, that's really our issue. And that's one of the reasons we're, why we're trying to get the word out there. So there's schools available for these young people. And I'm gonna to speak to Ford because I'm so familiar with it. But all the, all the uh, OEMs have schools like this available to young people. So when they come out of high school, there are schools available, uh, Allegheny Community College for one. Hmm. So you can go to one of these schools and they can recommend maybe a manufacturer, in this case Ford, and they'll find a dealer that will work with this person. And so they'll also pay them. So when they're not going to school, they can come to the dealership, learn firsthand, and also be paid at the same time and also most dealerships will help them with their education and so they're, they're, they can come out of a two-year school fully certified to work on these very complicated vehicles. And so often right out of high school, you don't, unlike going to many colleges where you have to take out loans or have big yeah. tuition bills to write, for a lot of kids right out of high school, the industry itself will pay them to get the next level of, uh, the next yeah. level. Of yes, you, you can get paid, go to school and come out guaranteed a job and actually, there's some pretty high wages out there available to these young people. Well, and I, I wonder about that. Yeah, are these good jobs when they when they finally are when they're able to do the work? I mean, these these are jobs with full benefits, retirement programs. I mean, it's a it's a great job. It's a great career. Yeah. And what, so, what's demand like? I mean, how many are these jobs going to be there for the foreseeable future? You know, Bill, just a few facts and figures that. 47% of the technicians out there in the job right now are over 45 years old. There's 237,000 technicians out there just in dealerships alone across the country. Do the math. They're coming out at a rate of about 10,000 a year. So that's the number of openings just by the aging yes. of the workforce, which we talked about a little bit. Our whole region is yeah. experiencing this, but in your industry, it sounds like it's especially acute in terms of the aging right. of the workforce. And that's and that's just in dealerships alone. Okay. Not not to talk about the the parts stores, the the remanufacturers, the electronics people. I mean, it's everywhere. 
Well, and it's across the whole country, so I mean, you're not just competing with other dealers here in the region for this talent. I imagine they're coming into our region to try to get these kids to go work someplace else. Yeah, so you take some of the best and brightest that go to these schools like Wyo Tech and other schools like that. I mean, you have NASCAR people there standing there waiting for some of these people and, and a lot of other big time, you know, national event people that are, that are pulling these people out. So, I mean, there's just some great opportunities out there. Our issue is trying to get people interested in doing it. So, so who's the ideal candidate for this kind of work? Well, Bill, anybody that likes to tinker with things, whether it's electronic things, whether it's mechanical things, because one of the questions that I asked the folks down at Allegheny Community College, I said, you know, we have this real desire for looking for kids and for electronics and, and to find kids that understand mechanics. And he said to me, he said, Dan, you bring me someone that knows what a wrench is and what a screwdriver is, we'll take it from there. Wow. Okay. So you can go in, you just have, yep. to just have sort of a love and an interest in it and That's uh, it. the path exists. Yep. Well, it's exciting. We're well, glad to see you're drawing attention to it all uh, this year at the, at the Pittsburgh Grand, uh, Vintage Grand Prix. We're glad to see you out here talking about it. We appreciate that. Absolutely, Dan Taylor. Thanks so much. Thank you. We'll be back on the air before Labor Day. In the meantime, enjoy the Olympics and what's left of your summer. And of course, have a profitable week ahead. <laughs>